All right, uh, so Hobby Wing has a variety of uh, 10 scale ESCs. Uh, so we have, for example, the Pro Stock ESC. I do not have one right here. I've had them before, uh, no longer use them. There's a reason why I actually only had one and then realized there was no point. And, but I'm gonna talk about it. It's not that it's a bad ESC, it's a good ESC, but it depends on your application. Uh, we also have, for example, the you know G2 Pros. Uh, we have the Quick Run. 10 BL, uh, that's for brushless. And then this is the 120, there is a 160, which is a little less expensive. To be honest, there isn't much of a price difference between them. And then we have obviously tried and true just stock. Now this is the third gen, this is the latest one. And the question is, well, what's the difference between them and why would one be better than the other, possibly? All right, so, the Just Talk ESC, this one right here, it looks just like this. So this one's actually going to be installed in a project uh, shortly after this video. Uh, it's a small case. It's actually quite compact. Uh, and it's for stock racing. That's it. Uh, there's nothing special about it. It's rated at 60 amps, uh, continuous, and... Uh, 380, I believe, peak, 360, 380, I believe it's 380, peak. That's it. There's no settings, nothing. Now, one of the beautiful things about this, though, is the BSC. So you have a built-in BSC, uh, is 4 amps, which is actually very good, right, to run extra things, uh, servo, whatever it is. Uh, so that's one of the high qualities or high aspects of this one right here, that uh, 4 amp BSC. Now I did mention the Pro Stock. Pro Stock is twice the cost. Uh, this one as of now is about $60. It used to be less. Uh, everything's gone up. Uh, but the Pro Stock's about 120, 130. Pro Stock is rated at 80 amps uh, continuous. So it's just 20 amp difference. And peak is 380 as well, but the BEC is only three amps. If you're just doing a touring car, who cares? The three amps is more than enough. It's fine. Uh, even on a buggy, it's good enough, really. Uh, but do you need it? Not really, because this is rated down to 10.5 turns. Most stock classes, are, at least here, are generally 17.5. This is more than enough. This is more than you need. 17.5, uh, 21.5, 25.5, I mean VTA. This is all you need, really. Uh, so you would save your money and get something like this. It's blinky all the time. Uh, and that's what you want. So for st stock racing, wherever blinky mode is required, this is blinky mode all the time. Now, for those of you that are new and are wondering what is blinky, uh, blinky is when a light just blinks. It just flashes, continuously flashes red. So just stock is considered blinky all the time. This one, for example, uh, this Pro has a light. It'll go green, red, depending on the mode. And if it's in blinky mode, you can put in blinky mode, it'll just be flashing red. And that's blinky, right? Because it's blinky. So again, the Just Talk ESC, this is really all you need. Uh, so that's the reason why I just never cared for the, uh, the Pro Stock, because there's really no need for it. This one does the work. I've been running this on my two-wheel drive buggy. Uh, this one's actually going on a touring car. I've run these in touring cars. They're just fine. Now, why would you go, for example, with a quick run? Now, there's two quick runs. There's one that, like I said, is rated at 60 amps, and there's this one rated at 20 amps. The difference between the two, other than price, is going to be uh, what you intend on using it for, the size motor that you want to use it, and the turns that you want to use with it. So 60 amp, obviously lower turn motor. So you're probably going to be using that for, say down to a 10.5. Chances are you're probably gonna be using it on 17.5, right? 17.5, 
uh, that's the 60 amp one or a 21.5 or a 25.5. Although to be honest, at that point, these do not go into blinky mode. So that can be an issue. So if, you, if you're just bashing, this is the way to go because these are less expensive. These are the least expensive out of the bunch. Uh, now, if you're going to a club, local club and racing, you may want to consider a just stock because this is considered blinky. Uh, so that's something to uh, consider when it comes to them. So this is really more of a bashing ESE, inexpensive. Now the footprint is larger. So this does have a larger footprint compared to, for example, this little G2. I mean, it's <laughs> this, this much extra. And actually it's also, no, it's about the same width. This one's a little bit wider, but yeah, the length, there's definitely a significant difference, mainly because this one has an aluminum case. This one has a plastic case, uh, which is uh, one of the nice things about the Just Stock. The bottom is plastic, but this top portion is aluminum. That's why you need this big, massive heat sink here because everything else is plastic. Whereas here, the top part of the case will actually absorb some of the heat. Uh, but if you look at them side by side, if you look at the footprint, I mean, that's, that's a large difference. Also look at where the wires are. So if we orient them this way, this will be more accurate. So, right, that's about the same. So maybe that'll make a difference, maybe not. So again, just stock if you're running a stock class. Uh, but again, there is a price difference. Uh, the just stock is about $60 as of this video. Uh, these ESCs, or at least the, what am I thinking? The 60 amp one, the 60 amp one is less than that. You're, you're looking in the forties for that ESC. So that's something else that's gonna make a difference. The price, what price, uh, what is your price range? So if you're just getting started and you want something that can do 2S, either one will work. Now the Just Stock is 2S only. This one's 2S and 3S. So that's one of the differences too. This is really your inexpensive bashing ESC. Uh, now, with this particular ESC, you can go down and put a really fast motor and then bash with it. So that's one of the advantages. Now this one, I can't remember the actual price, but I believe it was about 55, maybe less. The 60 amp, I believe is about $44 as of this video. Uh, this one, this one's probably 47. They're very close. So if this one's 47, uh, the other one you can probably get for less than that. Uh, so the other one is probably 40 or just under 40, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, as of the time of this video. Now, a uh, hobby wing, <clears throat> maybe replacing these, I'm not sure. So again, about the same price as the Just Stock, very similar, but this one is compatible with 3S, so you can do 3S. Now, again, there's no blinky mode. So this one, there's no blinky mode. There's no turbo, no boost. Now I'm gonna talk about that in a bit in case you're wondering what's turbo, what's boost. Uh, but what it does do is it handles 3S. So you can use 3S motors on this. Uh, and it does do timing. So let's just say you have a spare motor like this, like this Gravity RC. There's no timing in the motor and there's a lot of motors that will have no timing. So if you look at this, there's no timing bell. You can't advance or retard the timing. Advancing the timing in motors generally gives you more, more KV. So you'll get more RPM per volt. If you have something like that, or even, let's see, I don't have it here with me, but there's some other hobby wing motors out there. For example, the 3660 motor, those have fixed timing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Tekken, those have fixed timing as well. You have to do the timing in the ESC, I think the Pro HD, I can't remember at this time. The point is there's a lot of motors that you cannot change the timing internally. So there's no mechanical timing, but you can do it electronically through the ESC. So this one will do timing. So if you have a motor such as this gravity, which is at 30 degrees, you can increase timing to say 35, 40, 45, 50 degrees of timing with this ESC. Again, you have the option six amp, 120. To be honest, the difference in price isn't that big between 60 and 120. 
so that's the reason why I went with 120. Now I do have a buddy of mine, he is running this in a drag car. Uh, and the reason why he's running this in a drag car is because he can increase the timing, but he doesn't care about uh, boost, turbo, or anything like that. As far as he's concerned, he's just going to modulate his uh, throttle finger and that's it. So that leads us to the final ESC, this one right over here. This one is very small, as you can see. The whole case is aluminum, so the XR10. Uh, I, so if you look at those, uh, was it G2 Pros, all those, uh, they're all gonna have blinky mode, so you can go into blinky mode, out of blinky mode. It's really up to you what you need. Although this is overkill for a stock class. Notice this is my mod uh, short course. But you can also run boost. So after a certain RPM boost, what that does is it increases timing. So you can set the motor at a certain amount of degrees, for example, say 35 degrees of timing, right? So it's, it's a little slower, you know, less KV, perfectly fine. But then once it hits certain RPM, and this is why you need a motor analyzer, such as this, so that you know at what, you know, KVs, uh, your motor's doing what, uh, or what's your peak, for example, RPM. Uh, but let's just say you're running at 35 degrees and your motor can go up to say 40,000 RPMs. Uh, at 15,000 RPMs, you can program this to at 15,000 RPMs to increase the timing to say 45. And maybe that gives you an extra 400 KV. It depends on the motor. Maybe it's only 300, maybe it's just 200 kV. But even 200 kV times 7.4, or whatever your battery is charged at that time, maybe it's delivering 8.1, right? You charge up your battery, it's 8.4, but let's just say uh, voltage sags to 8.1. Let's just say eight, that's 200 times eight. That's 1,600 RPM. That's a huge increase. But maybe you don't want the RPM all the time, uh, right? short little uh, technical courses. You want it slower, more manageable. Uh, you don't have to think of throttle too much. And then once the turns get a little wider, that's truck go gets more speed, you know, short straights, boost kicks in. So that's what boost does. And you can program it at different ranges. So let's just say you were putting something like this in a drag car. Well, you can set up the boost to a certain RPM. So when you, you know, hit the throttle, the car will take off, but it won't go full power all the way because of the timing difference. It'll start off at low timing. So that way you don't have to worry about, oh, I accidentally went too far on the throttle, right? It's manageable. Uh, and then once the car has been taken off, reach a certain RPM, and then RPM would translate to hopefully speed on the wheels if it's not spinning out, then a uh, boost would kick in and bump it up X amount of degrees. Now, there are a lot of other options that I would recommend for a drag car, really, uh, if you want to depend on electronics and functions, such as the Tekken RX-8, or even uh, uh, Macklin has their uh, Drag King ESC. But right now, I'm really just focusing on the Hobbywing ESCs. So that's what Boost does. Boost just, you can change the timing depending on RPM. Now, Turbo. Uh, turbo is another function that this has that the other ones do not have. Uh, turbo, what that it means is it increases RPM at full throttle. So going back to, for example, a motor like this, you can have it at 35 degrees, and then you can pull the throttle anywhere except for full throttle, right? It'll be at 35 until it reaches a certain RPM, say 20,000 RPMs. And then 20,000 RPMs, it gives it 10 degrees more of timing because of boost. So now it's running at 45 degrees and then you go full throttle and then it gives it say an additional 10. So now you're at 55 degrees total. Uh, that's a possibility. Or for example, you can set boost to kick in at uh, 30,000 RPMs and then you're going at 35, going at 35. Now you go full throttle. Now you're at 45 degrees of timing uh, because let's just say you were at 
5,000, 10,000, 15,000 RPM. So you go full throttle, gives it that extra 10, now you're at 45 degrees RPM. Now it gets to 30 degrees and the boost kicks in. So it's a way that you can play with the timing. Uh, it's two different options. So turbo is gonna be a timing change at full throttle. Boost is gonna be a timing change at a certain RPM. And then blinky uh, means absolutely no additional timing. There's no timing. So this one has the advantage of timing, well, sorry, blinky mode, uh, changing the timing electronically, doing boost, and turbo, as well as pretty much running any turn motor that you want on this one. Quick run is really going to be for bashing. There is no blinky mode, no turbo, uh, and no boost. So that's what this one's going to be for. And you have a 60 and a 120 amp, depends on the size of the motor. If you're running regular 540 cans, 60 is probably going to be fine if you're running 17 or higher turns, maybe even a 13.5. But once you start going 13.5, 10.5, you may want to consider, you should consider the 120. Price difference isn't much. Again, for bashing, the only thing that you can do is just timing, really. That's it. Uh, especially for motors that don't have a timing bill. Uh, the pro stock and just stock, these are going to be for stock racing. So they're blinky mode only, and uh, you cannot adjust. There is no turbo. There's no boost. Uh, you have none of that. So really, the price difference, yes, this one has a compact aluminum case. Uh, this one has a larger footprint, massive heat sink to make up for it. This is half aluminum, half plastic uh, for the case. But really what you're paying for is the software. Uh, the hardware, eh, not so much really. It's mainly the software that you're paying for. So it's just going to depend on what your needs are. But uh, between the four ESCs, you know, hopefully this is informative and this helps and this helps you make your decision. Again, this ESC is going to have all the bells and whistles as far as software. You can run any turn motor. You're also looking at just over $200. The Pro Stock is going to be just over $100, maybe about $120. And that one is for stock racing, blinky mode. And you can pretty much run any turn motor uh, that's in stock, which is usually 10.5 or above. Just stock, this is going to be for high turn motors. Again, it is rated for 10.5 or above, but this is really something 17.5, right? Great, great for 17.5. Uh, 21.5, 25.5. Quick run, bashing, and you have the 60 and the 20 amp, but you're gonna miss out on boost and turbo. But then again, if you're bashing, who really cares? It doesn't really matter. It's really once you're fine tuning for racing that this is gonna come into play. So hopefully this helps. Over $200 uh, pro stock, over $100, about $60, just under $60. So go out, enjoy RC, have fun, don't waste your money, and I hope this helps. Uh, please subscribe if you have not. I'll catch you in the next one.